Hello, I'm Emily Spaven. This is your Week in Tech. We're filming from the office group space at 2 Angel Square in London. First off, let's take a look at some of this week's investment news. NotOnTheHighStreet.com raised a £21 million Series E round. The firm said it will use the funds to expand internationally and further invest in technology, innovation, marketing and operations. Premium restaurant booking platform Velocity secured a $22.5 million Series B round. The London-founded company aims to expand to 29 cities across the world by 2020. Other investments this week include a £1.4 million raised by indoor location software firm Senseware, a $2.5 million round raised by app developer platform Pusher, and a £500,000 raised by bike navigation device Beeline. Ten UK tech firms were named in the Wired Europe's 100 Hottest Startups magazine supplement. Running annually since 2011, the list is a collection of startups considered hot by Europe's investors. Companies on the list include student accommodation site Student.com, Magic Pony and Deliveroo. Tech giant Apple has been ordered to pay $13 billion in back taxes to Ireland. This is after the EU ruled the tax deal between Apple and the Irish tax authorities broke state aid laws. The usual corporation tax rate in Ireland is 12.5%, but in 2014, Apple only paid tax at 0.005%. Apple has said it intends to appeal the ruling. Our download of the week is Run an Empire. Recently launched in the UK, Run an Empire is a location-based running game described as Pokemon Go for running. The game uses your phone's GPS to record the path you take while out running. To capture a territory, simply run around it. All players use the same map, so it's possible local players will steal your territory. Then it's up to you to get out there and steal it back. And finally, Amazon has launched its Instant Order Internet of Things buttons in the UK. The service is called Dash and the buttons can be placed on objects around the home. This means you can instantly order items as and when you realise you're running out. There are initially 40 branded buttons to choose from, from toothbrush heads and washing up liquid to coffee and anti-smoking aids. That's it for this episode of The Week in Tech. For more technology news, check out our website and subscribe to our YouTube channel.